Hello, 41 Orange Group. Mr. Waterman here with the second part of our language arts lesson. On Thursday, February 3rd, 2022. I hope everyone is safe and well. Um, fingers crossed that my video doesn't cut out like it did in the grammar lesson. I'm so sorry about that. It's just one of those days. I'm not going to make such a long video for this one. We are working in our Schools Around the World workbook. And last time, you had to do the true or false section. So I'm going to go through those answers. Please check your answers as I go through them. So for the directions, you needed to read each statement. And if the statement is true, you needed to circle T for true. If the statement was false, you needed to circle F, okay? If the statement was false, you needed to rewrite it so that it was true, okay? We did numbers one and two together. Let's look at number three. The first schools were started to teach math. That was false. The first schools was started to teach children about their culture. Number four, students sometimes go to school by boat. That was true. Number five, students who dress alike wear clothes called a uniform. That was true. Number six, Group work is the only way students learn at school. That is false. I corrected it to say students do some of their schoolwork on their own, individual, okay? Seven, most children eat dinner at school. That was false. I fixed it. And I wrote, most children eat lunch at school. Okay, even though this is not the case in many schools now because of COVID. Number eight. It is not important for teachers to help children read and write. This is definitely false. It is important for teachers to help children read and write. This is how you learn. Could you imagine if Mr. Waterman didn't teach you proper grammar and how to read and write with English being, for many of you, your second or third languages? My goodness. Number nine, students in Japan help to serve lunch. This is true. Ten. Schools where students live are called camps. This is false. Schools where students live are called boarding schools. Number 11. Home schools are where parents teach their children at home. This is true. And for number 12, students who are performers don't have to go to school. This is false. They spend part of their day studying regular school subjects after they perform. Okay, so that takes care of the true and false section. And the part we're going to do today is going to be comprehension questions. Okay, and we have quite a bit of them. We have three pages. We have a total of 12 questions, okay? It says for the directions to read each question and answer in a complete sentence. Answer them in complete sentences, okay? Please listen as I read the questions. One. How are schools the same all over the world? Two, 
What do American students do in the classroom before they start their day? Three, which country did kindergarten start? Four, what was the reason why the first school started? Five, some students use computers to learn from home if they live too far away from their school. What are some other reasons why students might have to learn from a distance? Hint, hint, COVID. Number six, students sometimes go on field trips to learn. What is an example of this? Is it a good idea? Why or why not? Seven, why do some students have to learn more than one language? Is it a good idea? Why or why not? Think about Tokyo Korean school. Think about the languages you learn there. Number eight. Is it good for schools to offer after school lessons in music, computers, or other subjects? Why or why not? What is a class you would like to take at Tokyo Korean school? How about cooking with Mr. Waterman? Number nine. In some schools, students have chores they need to do. Do you have chores in your school? What are they? Do you enjoy doing those chores? Ten. Some students live together in boarding schools. Do you think it is a good idea? What would you do if you had to live at school every day and could only go home on the weekends or for holidays? 11. Is homeschool a good idea? Do you learn better at home or at school? Why? Again, Think about COVID. And 12, some adults go to school. What are some reasons why adults might want to go back to school? Now, let's look at number one together. How are schools the same all over the world? All around the world, children go to school. Some children spend most of their day at school. Others spend only a few hours there. I'm going to say For number one, children around the world spend part of their day Learning at school. Okay. Look at that nice sentence that I wrote. And we'll do number two together. What do American students do in the classroom before they start their day? Look here. These students in an American classroom start their day by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay? I'm going to say 
they start their day by saying the pledge of allegiance. There you go. So be sure when you're answering these questions to answer them in complete sentences, okay? Take your time. You have 12 of these to do, okay? We did two together, so now you have 10 left. If you have any questions, feel free to email Mr. Waterman, okay? Remember, you can use the book to help you answer many of these questions. And some of these questions, you need to give your opinion and talk about what you think, okay? This is all we're going to be doing. Please try not to work ahead, okay? The fact and opinion, do not do this page. We are going to do this in tomorrow's lesson, or better yet, yeah, Friday's lesson, okay? That's it. Take care, stay safe and well. Hope to see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now.